Hey guys, back at it again to make another random Pokemon review. I've also been working on a couple of other videos cooking them up in the background, but I think I'm just going to go with the random Pokemon review for now. Let's see what we get. Scolipede, okay. Alright, I'm alright with that. Scolipede it is. Be right back. Alright, so we're here at the Scolipede cards. So Scolipede does not have a lot of cards. He actually only has seven cards. Which is kind of sad, if you think about it. He got three cards in the in the Black and White era when he was introduced. He got one card in the X and Y era, one card in the Sun and Moon era, and then one card in the Sword and Shield era. He's got one card in the Scarlet and Violet era so far. Here's hoping for some more. We get the first card of this Scolipede by Masakazu Fukuda. It's always really nice when a... Uh, the first aura, like artwork of a Pokemon is not illustrated by Ken Sugimori. You get a little bit more character. You get a little bit more like kind of uh, just you get a little bit more to work with here. Uh, so for this being the first Scolipede card, it's a it's a non hollow rare uh, from Black and White base set. It's pretty cool looking. I like how it's like kind of twisting along like its body is like twisting and you can kind of see it's like menacing eye staring at the camera. Um, and the, the like the trees parting with the sky in the background is pretty nice. Good for a first card. The second one is the Scolipede from Emerging Powers. Um, this one is illustrated by Koei which is one of my favorite illustrators in the Pokemon DCG. I really like this card a lot. Um, I have it. Uh, of course I have it. I have a lot of many Koyu cards, but this one is really nice. I really like the colors on it. It's very like vibrant and kind of like the same thing where it's like the eye looking straight at the camera. Makes Scolipede look pretty menacing. Makes it look very cool. Um, and he takes up a lot... Excuse me. He takes up a lot of the card. He takes up a good amount of it, which is something that I definitely respect. We have this one from Boundaries Crossed. Uh, this one is by Five Band Graphics. Not my personal favorite illustrator or anything like that. It's a 3D illustration of Scolopede. He's, he's kind of squinting in this card, which is a little bit more unique than staring at the camera. But I kind of prefer it when he's staring at the camera. I, I do like the, the, the poison effects, like the poison attack that he's doing. Makes it a little bit more um, kind of dynamic, I guess you could say. And next we have this Scolipede by Mitsuhiro Rita from X and Y base set. This one is not bad. Uh, the, the forest around the Scolipede is very, very detailed and the Pokemon itself is also very, very detailed as Mitsuhiro Rita tends to do. But the Pokemon looks kind of weird when it's super detailed. I don't know what it is about it. I kind of prefer the proportions on the this one. Um, not that I dislike it, I just there's something off about it and I just can't say what it is. That's not a bad looking card, though. Well, next, we have the Scolipede from Burning Shadows. Maybe I can get a better picture of it here. Because that's not a very good picture of the Pokemon. Let's see here. Um, okay, well, it's still a very low quality image of the, of the card. It's by Ats Ay Ay Ayasaka Yoshida. Um... It looks pretty cool, actually. I like. I like. It's. It is. I think it's another three D generated Pokemon card. Um, but it, I think it looks pretty nice. I like the the background. It's very vibrant. There's like yellow and blue and like green. Um, colorful. It's just not my personal favorite one. Uh, and I have nothing to seriously write home about. But next we have this one from Chilling Rain. This one's by Megumi Higuchi. Uh, I don't know how many cards they have. It doesn't. I don't think they have a lot of them. Uh, they have a handful of cards. Um, this one is nice. I really like the the colors on this one. It's like you have the background that's like completely muted and kind of grayed out. And then you have the Scolipede in the foreground um, where it's like attacking with its horns and creating like a little circle. Uh, it looks very upset, but its eye has a lot of shading and detail and so does it the rest of its body. Uh, I like the sun ray effects, like the kind of like the effects that are exploding off of the card. That's, that might be my favorite one so far. Uh, finally, we have the um, Scolipede from Mask of Change by Shiburingaru. Shiburingaru. Um, they've done a lot of cards, um, and they they started in like Brilliant Stars, so they got they've gotten a lot of cards to work on, and their artwork is just really really good overall. Um, I love the clouds in this one. The clouds are kind of like these like like. Cart kind of cartoony, like swirlish um, clouds, but the trees in the background are kind of the same, where they're kind of like um, cartoony in a way, but not super cartoony. Uh, it it just reminds me of like kind of like 
I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, it's just like a nice cartoony vibe. Uh, I don't know if those are clouds or poison. I think that's actually like a poison cloud behind the Pokemon. But he's he's got a really nice pose. I really love the the colors on this one because you have like the purple, like the deep dark purple, contrasting with like the lighter kind of like sunrise or sunset uh, kind of vibe. And then you have some nice shading on the Pokemon as it's looking down. Um, it, I think they did a good job with like the shading on the the stomach as well. Um, but if I were to say my favorite, it would probably be this one, actually, the one from Mask of Change. A second, I would have to give the Kawaii one. And then third, I would give this one. Fourth, I would give... Or the, the one from Chilling Rain, to make it a little bit more specific. Uh, then I would say the one from Black and White Base Set is my next favorite one. And then the X and Y one, the Burning Shadows one, and then finally the Boundaries Crossed one is probably my least favorite one. But, hey, that's Scolipede. Scolipede only had six six or seven cards one two three four five six seven seven cards so there wasn't really a lot to cover but this pokemon is really cool and it deserves a lot more love so hopefully in the future we get to see a little bit more love for this pokemon if you guys enjoy the video make sure you like and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya